So we get a victory against Bucknell. First and foremost, that's good to follow up after a tough loss against Hartford. Yeah, and obviously we're starting a Patriot League season, so um, the league games are the most important. Um, you want to win them all, but uh, getting off to a 1-0 start in the league was, uh, was uh, a, a good goal to have and something we're able to come home with. All right, and you, you capitalize off some turnovers. That was a good part defensively, but you also give up some big plays. Yeah, it was a mixed bag on defense. Uh, coming up with five turnovers is huge. That's, that's uh, I don't know if we've ever done that before, but we also gave up some big plays and allowed Bucknell to stay in the game. Credit to Bucknell, certainly, for executing those plays, but a couple of them were clearly our fault, um, something that we could have uh, avoided had we um, been uh, focused on the right things and not making some mental errors. Your freshman quarterback, Peter Puyall, is another significant step in the process, maybe a little more consistent this week, maybe taking better, better care of the ball than he was the week prior. No turnovers and uh, over 500 yards of offense and 51 points. Uh, hard to argue with those numbers, but uh, he did a really good job. We moved the ball very well. We only had to punt the ball once. We came up about uh, two inches short of a first down one time. So um, I thought we did a really good job. Um, there were a couple of uh, things that we could have done better, but um, we're, we're getting very, very close. Um, our run game, we went over 200 yards uh, rushing um, you know, for the second time this year. Um, so we're, 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 the variety in, in our offense is back, and I think it's really hard to defend us when we can do all the things we're doing with both the rush and the pass at this point. And it's really amazing how it's kind of developed here just in the course of three weeks or so. As you mentioned, you had some struggles against even back that Monmouth game, and now you're this multi-dimensional offense with so many different things to defend and, and so many unknowns from an opponent's perspective still. And, and, you know, as you know, we had the injuries at the quarterback position earlier in the year, and you'd hate to say that it affected you, but it did. Um, we weren't capable of executing some parts of our offense due to those injuries and to, due to other injuries. Um, now that we have more guys uh, back in the offense, we're able to uti utilize all of our personnel a lot better, and uh, you know, having a healthy quarterback is certainly a big part of it. When you have a player like Kyle Young who takes back a uh, you know, an interception return for a touchdown. You have Peter Puyallis contributing, a Gabe Gill, the wiser, the freshman that class that we've touched upon several times so far. How does that make you feel that you guys have done your job recruiting-wise, but now with the scholarships being back here at Holy Cross? It feels good. We thought we had a great class, although it was a small class. Um, there are roster restrictions that have gone along with the merit scholarships, so um, we couldn't take a big class. Um, you know, because of that. So it was small, but we felt the quality was really good. The so-called experts were telling us that we had a very weak class, so uh, we, we were proved right. Our guys have been up there, um, you know, playing and, and making plays out there consistently since, you know, about the second or third week of the season. And, uh, you know, we expect uh, them to become even better players as we move forward. But um, I'm really pleased with the progress of the freshman class. And even the guys that aren't, you don't see, uh, on the field, the guys that aren't playing yet, um, we we really think that a lot of them will be good players moving forward. And even with, with with how you may have integrated them quicker in many instances than you would have wanted to, that's going to serve you well going forward with other recruits that you're trying to bring in and say, hey, listen, you can definitely make an immediate impact here with our team. Yeah, no question. I mean, you know, it, it proves that we're going to put the best people on the field and. Uh, and uh, you know it doesn't. It, there's no seniority as, as far as that's concerned. But it's not just talent; it's the experience, and there's a lot of things that comes down to performance. And uh, you know these guys, several of these guys, have been able to go out and perform very well consistently, and that's why they're on the field so much. All right, let's look ahead. This week's opponent coming in, Colgate to Fitton Field. It's on the CBS uh, College Sports Network, so you're back on television the big time there. And uh, so, tell us what you expect out of the Red Raiders. Yo, know, uh, everyone knows uh, Colgate is a very good running team. Um, they run an option-based uh, offense. Um, they're very multiple um, personnel-wise and formationally. They do a lot of things to challenge you, um, you know, and, and force you to play very disciplined defense to read your keys because they do so many things that um, off of the same types of actions, um, and, and it really makes it difficult to defend in a lot of ways. So um, last year, I think we were a little bit too sophisticated against them. They really broke a lot of, uh, of big plays against us. So we got to make sure that we're very sound in what we're doing and our players are geared into uh, are completely 
tuned into what the responsibilities are and make sure we're executing it. But they're a very good rush team. They are again this year. They had a, a, a slow start as a team, but they've played a very strong schedule um, and, uh, and they've had some injuries. Uh, they're starting to get some guys back like we have, and uh, you can see that they're a very good offensive team. Um, and they've really, last week, had, a, had their best defensive uh, game of the year, So, in my opinion. So I think it's going to be a real big challenge. It's a Patriot League game. It's their first Patriot League game of the season. So, um, And any time uh, Colgate and Holy Cross get together, you can be sure it's going to be a physical, uh, very highly emotional game.